I am Juba. This is Stoneface Bass. And we are from Dub Tonic Crew. Representing for Lyric Magazine. Magazine. Keep it. Doctor and crew is all about um, bringing a message, a positive message to the world, and bringing some music with a um, with a you know, positive vibration, like um, music can inspire people. You know what I mean? And like a medicine, you know? Yeah, as Bridging Stone said, you know, Dub Tonic Crew is all about giving a positive message to the people. Hence, I will take this time to explain the meaning of the name, you know, the conjunction of both words coming together. You know, dub, as you know, is kind of the foundation of reggae. You know, when I think about see this is drum and bass, you know, stone bass, juba drums. <laughs> And um, so that's like the backbone of reggae music. And when you think about dub, you think about, you know, a whole heap of hard hitting drum and bass, pulsating bass, you know, with some effects, maybe some reverb and delay and, and all of that, you know, sounds, playing with sounds, you know, under the, the, the basic structure, over the basic structure of the, of the music. Um, the tonic aspect of it is, our lyrical content always, you know, we always intend for it to be positive. We, are, we always intend for it to be informative, educational, you know what I mean? As well as, of course, very entertaining, you know what I mean? But uh, those three aspects are very important to our music. So Dub Tonic, foundation medicine, you know, because that is how people are supposed to feel or normally feel or express that they feel when them discover Dub Tony Crew music or when them come to one of our concert. Dub Tony Crew started with me and Juba, Drummond, and me basing us. So we, uh, we started from like um, many, many years, like from, um, we started like in the early 2000, 2001, we have been touring different artists, you know, and then we, um, 2003, four, we started um, doing an album together, Jungle Fever. And we put in tracks together, like, this album took like about um, three, three, four years, you know, mm -hmm. many years we put it together. Each time we pick up tracks from like, this year we might make two tracks and next year we make a few more tracks. So by 2008 now, we finally, album finally come together. And then we, um, we re released the album 2008, called Jungle Fever. And then um, we have um, featuring... Um, Kamau, mm, yeah. at um, Kamau, the Oris Morgan, and then after uh, Kamau, eventually become a part of the um, the, the, the band. You know what I mean? And then um, Jalanzo, Jalanzo and Luke Dixon. Uh, Jalanzo is guitar player and also did vocal, and then Luke Dixon is also a um, keyboard player. And we did our first tour together. Two thousand eight, we went to um, to Europe. And yeah. we um we did a show in Spain, Birmingham, Spain. We actually play on that show. We actually play like four, four hours. hours. It was it one actually one of our longest set. We longest played. set, yeah, ever. We headlined yeah. that yeah. festival yeah. and played for four hours. Even yeah. us, we weren't sure we had a long enough yeah. repertoire to yeah. do it. But it was great. After four hours, we even did encore. You know, went back up and the energy was high. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. For real. Just 
love but we deal with social issues we deal with all issues that we face you know on planet earth so love is a topic you know that we love to embrace and talk about <laughs> Inspired Dub Tony crew, I would say the legendary them, you know, like, you know what I mean? Personally, I'm a bass player. I'm a bass player. Robbie Shakespeare is my, really, is my inspiration as a bass player. And Family Man Barrett, the elder, them man, they really inspire me as a bass player. And, and many are like Derek Barnett, all them man, they, you know what I mean? Really look up to them as a, as a youth growing up. And and, and I like the artists like Mighty Diamonds, Dennis Brown. We, we, we've been on the road with all these artists in the, in the, um, in the early 90s. Tour with Max Romeo, Dennis Brown, Delinja, Big U, Yura, you name it. Many, many artists, you know. So, so all them artists, they inspire us. And then putting all of that inspiration become we become our own personal thing now that become like dub tonic yeah man all of them vibes put together and that's that's basically dub tonic you know what i mean for real and created yeah, amazing create, yeah, yeah and juba i can almost speak for juba too because juba me and juba that like you were growing up you know what i mean we been on the road with all these artists i mean yeah, man. you know what i mean jalanza too jalanza coming as a youth too jalanza is more younger but i mean him coming Go, first time Jalanza go on the road was with Max Romeo, you know. Um, I Jam and Levi, so you know what I mean. So the, some of them kind of influenced that too, you know, in their, in their, in their music, you know. So you know what I mean. So it's basically that. Yeah, man, and the the influences vary, you know. Stone say a holy parody, and him speak for I and I because both are we basically come up through the same, you know, channels. Um, but I'll take it even outside of Jamaica. Um, we all listen to a variety of music, and as I told you before, you know the various cultures that we've been exposed to have also been in influenced, you know, to us and our music has inspired our sound and our music, you know. So I think about other musicians, you know, like. We talk about the Jamaicans, of course, Sly and Robbie, you know, Sly Dunbar, great drummer and producer, um, Carlton Barrett, and so many, too many to, to say, you know. One of my first, because I listen to jazz and I listen to contemporary um, jazz and Latin music, you know, so people I listen to as drummers were people like Billy Cobham, you know, people like Dennis Chambers, you know, and drummers like those. Music I've listened to is music like salsa, you know, Afro-Cuban music, you know, music from Africa, you know, samba, you know, music from Brazil. You know, so the influences, Stone, Funky, if you, you listen to Stone, I play. Listen, listen you, know, you know, one of my inspirations, you have a brethren from Africa, from, from um, I think you're going from... Um, Fela Kote. Yeah, Fela Kote. Yeah, Fela Kote, one of my inspirations too. Yeah man. So, I feel like when I feel like what the song like last like fifteen, twenty minutes. Yeah, yeah. man. And that's that's just kinda of all that's all dub tonic really play. We are, we play a song. When we play like live on stage, we play a song like a song like I like we play a five minute song then. We play the song two times around and then we just we don't go back to no bridge or nothing. We just vibe. We yes. just we just jam the rest of the song yeah. and we just take it to a different level. <laughs>
No, I give up was we make no, I give up um the track was made in um two thousand ten. Was um was um it was actually a team song going to the global battle of the band in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. So we um it's like that's this song is like what we what we recorded and said this is like this is like a song that's gonna really we're gonna we, that's why we, we believe in this track, you know what I mean? Yeah. And we're gonna and we're gonna go to Malaysia and we're gonna take the title, you know, the best new band in the world. Yeah. Sometimes it can be a struggle. But never give up. I'm on a go give up, it's a struggle now. It's a struggle now. I'm on a go give up, no way. No way. I'll be put the pedal to the metal, I say. Yeah. Could I never make this mission crumble now? Could I never we come so far, so far. I feel all and keep this thing together. I say, yeah. Hey, me know it critical. critical. And you could even say that it is biblical. Those and we actually um, record a song here. And, and during the, we do like footage from the, um, the video. We make a video for this song. We do like footage from the, um, from the event, from Jamaica, going on the plane and to Malaysia, back and forth, and going to the. Um, the rehearsal, the, um, the sound check, everything we have put everything together, and and the, and, the, and the lyrics of the song mean we just have to um you know what I mean we have to believe in what we um believe in our dream, yeah, right. and just know we not give up and we are um you know what I mean take it to the different take take it to the highest level you know, and we are we end up we end up be the um, the global battle of the band champion for 2010. 2000 till 2011 yeah yeah man. and that song was recorded before we went so yeah. basically it's the energy yeah through the song and the energy we feel creating the song that we carried into that competition you know what i mean so again words sound power the mirror of the global battle of the last 2010 is 